In the middle of October, Google Ads announced a new video tool rolling out in our demand gen campaigns. This tool is going to give Google the ability to automatically create video ads. Now it's not going to impact every single ad group. So we're going to show you how this new tool is going to work, the timeline when it's going to be rolled out, and then we'll show you where you can turn off the setting if you don't want video ads to be automatically created. And then for whatever reason, if you either forget about the setting or you just want to test it out, we will show you what some of these automatically created videos could look like. The first thing I want to cover is what is exactly changing with this new video tool for demand gen campaigns. And not a shocker, Google's saying the main benefit of this change is to help with reach expansion. Because one thing we always demand is less control, right? Yeah, exactly. So two small things initially with this change. First, this will only impact the ad groups that are running image-only ads. If you're already using video ads in your demand gen ad groups, you will not see any change. You'll be fine. This is really going to be for the accounts that may not have the ability to create good or consistent video assets for their ads. So if you are running image only ads, Google's going to look at what is already running within the ad group. Then Google will take all your current text assets, like your headlines, descriptions, and whatever images you are currently using in your image only ads to create new video ads within the same ad group. And I've seen plenty of these videos that Google likes to create. They can look slideshowy, very much a clear cut template, and they honestly don't look that great. Okay, so when does this change happen and when are we going to be forced into it? First, for any ad groups running only image ads in their demand gen campaigns, this tool will automatically be turned on for any ad created before August 27th of 2025. Now, as I'm recording this video and when it's going to be released, we have a few days to turn it off. So before this launches in November, you can go into your image only ad groups in your demand gen campaigns and turn the setting off before October 31st, 2025. This will make sure that the change does not automatically impact your current performance. So if you're already a demand gen pro or you're very familiar with Google ads, you know where to go in and start turning off this setting. This is probably all the news that you need. But if demand gen is still pretty new to you, I'm going to hop into Google ads now and show you where this change is going to live. This is our demo account, so this campaign is just a draft that we use to make these videos. But let's pretend this is something that's actively running. I already hopped into the ad in this ad group. And we see the first thing that you do when you create an ad is that you choose the ad format. So if this is running, and I was only running the one ad, and it's a single image ad, this would qualify once the change occurs that Google would start using whatever images I may have uploaded to start creating a video ad. And yes, the video ad will live in the same ad group where it took your text and image assets from your single image ad. Now to be fair and clarify, it can create a video off of your carousel image ads too. Now depending on structure and performance, some people prefer to separate out their video ads from the image ads. I'm not saying that's right or wrong, it could just be a test that they prefer. So if you're in that boat and you do like to split out your ad groups by the type of creative that you're running, well, this is going to mess things up if Google starts automatically creating video ads within any of your image ad groups. Now, you may be thinking there's a few ways that we might be able to control this. Because at the ad group level, this is where you can select which channels you want your ads to appear within the ad group. And looking at all of the options, no matter what you check or uncheck, Video is available in all of these placements where a demand gen ad could appear. So trying to mess with these settings isn't going to help anything. You see why Google's trying to force this extra reach with video campaigns? More opportunities for your ad to be shown. More opportunities for clicks. It's better for Google. Even if you go to the campaign settings, channels do not live at the campaign settings, but you may want to look at devices. All those placements, it really doesn't matter. Yes, you can turn off TV screens, especially if you don't have video. I recommend doing that anyway, because I would not want Google to create one of their bad looking template videos and then blast it on on TV. So I would definitely uncheck this box if you don't have video creative. However, all those channels at the ad group level can show on any of these devices. So updating this really isn't going to do much. Here, let me just pretend to add some images. No, these aren't great images. I wouldn't use them for an ad anyway, but if you only have a handful of images, uploaded here, yes, your logo will count too. But if you forget to turn the setting off, or if you just flat out want to test it, if you have poor image options that you're using within your standard demand gen image ads, well, just think of how that can look in a video, probably even worse. But then scrolling down, this asset optimization setting already lives within your video ads. Here's where you would want to go and make sure that the video option is unchecked. And then adaptive layouts would be to fit other potential sizes. Let's say you only had square images. Leaving this check would allow Google to crop it or change it to fit other ad sizes like this horizontal option we see in the preview. But again, there's the video setting. Make sure that's unchecked. Scrolling down, here we see the text aspects. I mentioned in the beginning, Google can pull from your headlines. 
pull from your descriptions. And whatever you have inputted here can be used within the video that Google would create for you. So if you're watching this before October 31st and you don't want this to be automatically done for you, make sure this box is unchecked. Now, the last thing I'm going to talk about is potentially a question you have of, I'm not familiar with these automatically created videos. What could they look like? Let me get one example ready for you. If, if you click on tools, you will see that there's an asset studio. Now, if we scroll down to the video section, there's options to edit your videos, whether you want to trim it to a different length, add in your own voiceover. But here we see this tool to create videos. And already right off the bat, it looks like we're taking some PowerPoint slides and adding some animation to them. I know there are options for apps, certain other themes. There are more shopping focused ones. Fine, I'm just gonna pick one. Here's some text. I had an image, I have a URL, more text. As you see, every step I'm just sliding through the storyboard that's on the bottom. Okay, I quickly went ahead, jumped ahead, fill in everything, let's upload this thing. I don't wanna upload this. I don't want this living on my channel. Let's make this bigger and preview it. You're not gonna be able to hear the sound. I'm not gonna record it. And we can all use our imaginations on what this type of video may look like for your business if you just piecemealed it together. It's not that exciting. Is it better than nothing? Yes, absolutely. But it also doesn't look that great either. This is just one template of many Again, you can see in all the other templates what it could look like. It's gonna take all the images and text messages from your image ads to create something that looks similar to this. If you find templates that really suit your business, you might be okay with it. If you don't like anything that you're seeing just from initial viewpoint, go in and start turning that setting off now for any image only ad groups. If we see any other changes coming to demand gen, we'll make sure to share the news with you. But until then, if there are any other questions, just let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the super thanks button.